So, Michael, my friend, yes. thank you very much. We are on a beautiful go boat here on the seaside of Copenhagen. And uh, yeah, please, first of all, you know, Michael Grunbeck, I say like this, it's your name sounds like you were an actor or somebody who write crime stories in Scandinavia. So please introduce yourself a little bit more. You know, <laughs> where are you? Who are you? And, uh, and why? Yeah, <laughs> what are you doing? I am uh, Michael Grunbach from the, the, the Copenhagen Convention Bureau and uh, I'm really happy to have you here. And uh, what I was telling you, the best way to see Copenhagen is of course to be here and, and experience it and touch it and feel it. And the second best way is to sit on a boat together with friends and see the, the lovely city from the, from the seaside. Um, today is a, is a really hot day, and what's what's better than to be on a boat with a, with a glass and uh, and looking at at all the living that goes on in, in Copenhagen? So yeah, yeah. You I'm talk about you here. talk about the glass. It's not only me. I have a glass. Your glass is here, uh, you know, protected. It's hidden. So my friend, we enjoy it, and it's really a great time to be here on the river. You. If I watch around, it's amazing. So I feel extremely comfortable. I feel relaxed. This is really nice. Now we are not on the way to London. It shakes a little <laughs> bit, but we're not on the way to London. We're on the way to the Little Mermaid, right? Yes, that's correct. And and uh, but with a boat, we can reach many places here in Copenhagen. Oh? Yeah, there's there's a there's a trend popping up the last couple of years that that um, everyone can go and rent a boat for 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 very reasonable prices and and go and explore the city itself. You don't have to use a lot of horsepower. You just need to to uh, pack a picnic lunch and uh, and a glass and uh, and some good friends and and go on a, on a tour and explore the city yourself. So yeah, that's a good, uh, really good idea to do. Yeah, like we do. Yeah, we get a bottle of champagne and we enjoy the beautiful river canal river here. But we had to do Peter because uh, last time you were here and and that was in the dark and you had yeah. to, to to watch if it was a good idea for your next project and. This time, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I can show you that it's, it's a good time for the project, I it's, think. That's true. Last time, and if we talk about last time, it was in winter time. I was yeah. really here, and it was not so sunny like today. And we are here for a reason, because you, me, and all your, your colleagues, your team, we are planning, what, what we are planning here in Copenhagen. If the MySport the Green Mile is, is such an important event for us. We were at the first one in Zurich, and uh, we... Uh, it, I, I, it's, it, it shouldn't be a buzzword, but, but the, the idea of, about so sustainability in the, in the event industry is, is, is much more important than just to talk about. Right. And, and we do it a lot. Uh, this, one, this boat is, for instance, an electric boat. Not, not all of them are, but, but this one is at least. So, yeah. so we're trying to, to, um, to make the best of it. And, and as, um, as we've spoken about before, Peter, it's, it's, sustainability is not only a buzzword. It's, it's sometimes, sometimes it's even con convenience. Yeah, but right. sometimes it's easier just to think of the things. If you if you already think plan ahead, uh, both in your events, but as well the, the way you live, it's it's much more easier to live a, a life that is not um, tearing as much on on the, on the nature and, and, and things. And and I would say that Copenhagen has a brand that that we've been we've been doing that for years. But it's not only because it's it's clever. It's it's as well because it's it's easier for us. So yeah, it's, absolutely. And, and and again, when everything starts to be like this and. And that, that could be using the electric powers and that could be when you think of food waste and, and these things. These are small steps, but many small steps uh, again makes, uh, makes the, the road larger and bigger and everyone, we need to go that way, everybody. And yeah. We don't care if we, we, we want to go first or not, we, we just want everybody to, to join us. That's great, yeah. So before we talk about sustainability uh, yeah. information for our friends in London, you, you have heard we are using an electric engine and it's a slow engine. So yeah. we need a little bit of time to meet you under the tower bridge. So stay there, stay, keep cool. We will be coming. We'll be there in seven or eight days. Maybe. Yeah, it will be seven, eight days, but then we will be there. But anyway, sustainability, this is a nice topic. Yeah. For me, Denmark and Copenhagen is for two things, sustainability and what you call for a couple of years, mind blowing meetings, you know, yeah. to, to start to do meetings on a different way as people know in all over the world. And I was really deep impressed for more than 10 years when you start with this conception. Yeah. Uh, can you explain a little bit about that? You know, you spoke about the sustainability aspect, but what, what's the meaning behind the mind-blowing meetings? What's different to, to normal meetings? And well, a couple of years ago when we did that campaign was uh, was the idea that, that we try to emphasize how important it is to 
um, when you do meetings, it's, it's not only about doing meetings because the, the topics are mostly important when you do meetings anyway. Um, but the best way to learn is, is, is a way to look at uh, t- children. How do they learn the best? They learn when they, they have fun or they are relaxed in, in different things. So if you combine that with the seriousness of the business and your events, uh, but do it in, in a fun way that people will, because everybody is children, it's just a matter of how old they are. <laughs> So it's, it's just a matter of, of, of thinking of that the best way to get your information in is, is the way you play with it, like, like this. So, yeah. so that's uh, mind-blowing meetings, is, is changing the frames, the frameworks, the, inv- uh, so the, the, the framing around the meeting, and as well as, as, um, as the way you think of, of uh, food and drinks, and why don't you have your meetings outside if, if it's possible, and why don't you have your meetings on a rooftop if, if you can, because that, that won't change the, the seriousness of the topic and the business, it's just going right. to change the, the, the way that, that you learn and experience the, the information that you need to transfer, so yeah. Yeah, great. So when you, when you talk about uh, Copenhagen, especially as a destination for yeah. meetings and of course also for incentives, Absolutely. congresses as well, because Absolutely. I think you have a couple of congress venues right now. Uh, the Bella Center is one of the, of the, of the newest one, or is yeah. this correct? In the top 20 in the world. Uh, I, I, it, and to be fair to my congress uh, team, uh, that, uh, that at the, they, are, they are really, really working on, on this and, and we are uh, constantly coming in, in in good ways and 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 I would say that it mostly up to the team but but we have such great venues and they are um, uh, uh, they just finished expanding at the Bella Center at the moment because of, of, of the, the demand that uh, there is on, on the city it's widely popular now both for of course for, for conventions but um, but as well for, for incentives and these things so there's a lot going on on, on in, in the in the expansion of both um, number of hotel rooms, venues, but as well of the quality of, of things. So um, we know about the, the Scandinavian, uh, the perception of, 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 of some of the costs, but as, as long as there's IOR, uh, ROI in, 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 in what we do and Romy, Romy well, yeah. the, the return of meeting investments, then, then uh, that's what we focus on. So the quality has to, to find out, yes. Yes, that's true. That's so true. And the, I really like the creative way the Danish do. And you know, also like conception, like the Hugo concept example. It's a typical way of Danish life, lifestyle. This is Hugo. This is Hugo, what we do. Yeah, we are sitting here on the boat and uh, now we are, oh, there is a, a warship also, people winking to us. So it's really nice to enjoy this. Uh, one other question for our audience. When we talk about the convention of Copenhagen, you're yes. a, you, ha, you, ha, you have a team there, yeah. but can you explain a little bit what is our services and the most important question is, is this services free of charge? It is. We are the linking part between, if you are wondering uh, what destination you should go to, you can always give us a call, send us an email at the convention bureau, because the team, my team and convention team and, and the rest of the house are, are willing to to help you find the right solutions, try to to uh, to uh, advise you what to do and, and and who to work with and and, and these different things and and it, it's it's absolutely free of chance for you. It's it's a it's a governmental setup, so we just try to do the best for you uh, when you are considering a, a destination like Copenhagen. Um, then we will we will sort you out with most of the services. And uh, if we don't know how to do it, then we know who do it. So that's what we do. That's great, that's great. And your partners here, you work with a couple of partners. I guess you work with hotels, hotel chains, with, um, of, um, you know, owned hotels. Yes. DMCs also? DMCs, restaurants, bars, uh, special venues, uh, the government, if you need any specific permit, uh, permits. For instance, there was a lot going on from the uh, Grand Depart of the Tour de France this year, was was in Copenhagen, and, and uh, it was uh, really a great teamwork between the the, the, the team at the municipality and, 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 and us at Wonderful Copenhagen, the Convention Bureau, and, and, and a lot of other partners. Yeah. So um, I, I would say one of the, the best things that I, how I can describe Copenhagen is we are a large, large village. Everybody knows everybody, but that's yeah. the way we can help you the best way as well when you do your events. Sounds perfect. Now we are sailing here on the, on the riverside, in the Haver side. Yeah. We're not really sailing, we use this electric engine so we are extremely sustainability and we are sustainable Absolutely. how we drive here over this beautiful canal and we do this for a reason because we are here for a reason we want to come back in may what is the re- and i'm happy to and, and and really proud 
that the Copenhagen Convention Bureau will be a partner of the Green Mile in 2023. Absolutely. So you joined the Green Mining Cup in, 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 in Zurich, yes. the, the first one this year. Please tell a little bit about your experiences and your feelings about, uh, when you uh, visit this event in Zurich. We, 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 we found the idea such a valuable set, uh, setting for us uh, to be a part of because uh, that is something that we we want to do a lot for, for, for our clients is, is of course to at least have the thought or, and the mindset on, on the sustainability. So when we joined the, the, the Green Mile we just thought this is, a, this is absolutely an event for us. And the, the, the best thing is it's a forum where it's, it's not only a selling point to talk about this. It's actually people who come there, the buyers are really interested in it. Uh, the, the request that we had from, from, uh, from coming to the Green Mile uh, uh, to talk about sustainability of Copenhagen has been uh, invaluable, I would say. It's, it's, it's really such an important topic that we, we cannot emphasize it enough how important it is. So yeah, this, is, uh, this for us was a really good experience and we, we just think that uh, the, the possibility for us to be able to host that next year is, is, really, is really good for us. So we really look forward to welcoming all of the, the partners, both suppliers and suppliers, to, to wonderful Copenhagen. Yeah, I tell you true, for me it's uh, my dream destination for doing the second, the second episode of the Green Mile. Because we have a really good start in Switzerland, we always trust for for the first time. Ah, oh, here now we see behind us, we can see the beautiful opera house, right? That's the opera house, yes. This is uh, the. It's a gift from the uh, from the uh, the shipper uh, Epi Müller Mask. Yeah. Uh, to the Danish people, and uh, I think one of the reasons why uh, he wanted to uh, to give this to the Queen and to the rest of the people was uh, that uh, the view from his office as well, because that's the main. <laughs> Ah, this is mask, you know, the container that's, guy, that's yeah? The, that's the mask. This is the container guy. Ah, we, we, yeah, I see, I see. And, and I remember last weekend, yeah. the, let's, don't say make promotion, it was a, let's say it's a lemonade. They make a high jumping, diving from the, from the, from the rooftop of the, of yeah, this. some kind of crazy lemonade uh, set up. Uh, yeah, the crazy uh, lemonade, you know, who, who, who flies you up, you know, when you drink enough of them. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. The people that gives you wings. It gives you wings, yeah. <laughs> they didn't have wings enough, so they, they, they jumped down from the, the, the roof of the opera house. That is really nice. And this beautiful view here in the back of our boat, really, really nice to be here and uh, also here is a nice area, it's protected, maybe it's a military area, why it's the way it's protected, yeah. It is, but uh, behind there, Peter, you see the, uh, the Copen Hill, it's called. Ah, uh, yeah, what, the, what is the Copen Hill? The Copen Hill is the, um, is the most uh, energy effect, uh, efficient waste to power plant uh, in, in the world. We built this uh, because we needed somewhere, of course, to get rid of our waste, the ones yeah. that we can't recycle and reuse. Yeah. So um, instead of just building something in uh, outside the area, we build it inside the city center more or less, uh, or in the outskirts of the city center, I would say. So we, we burn the waste of Copenhagen here, and, and it, it goes directly into to, to heat and to, uh, to clean energy as well. And uh, because of, of, of the, the obvious reasons not to build a huge building with, with these facilities inside, we, we try to do something of it so we could use it for something. So we have the the world's tallest uh, climbing uh, wall on the side. Yeah. On the top of the, the hill as well, we have um, we have bars and restaurants. But the, the only reason why we have bars and restaurants in, on top of it, you of course need some place to have your upper ski because there's a ski slope all the way down from the, from the top of the... A ski the, slope is there. On, you can go with skis down. You can go up there right now and you can, uh, you can go, you can hike up there or you can, you can go <laughs> up there by, by the climbing wall or even take the elevator and go up and have a have a good time and then go down on skis and then afterwards take the elevator up and have a have a deserved beer for oh, amazing amazing this on the right side now is one of these dot mobia this is uh, your bus boats here it is like like a bus boat on the on the we know this from the river elbe in hamburg too yep and the people like to join it right yeah absolutely it, it links the the island of Amar to the to the mainland of sealands uh, and the two parts of copenhagen that are on the, each side of the harbor so this is uh, this is the this is the easiest way is we have of course uh, bridges and we're building more and more bridges because people need to go by bike and and by car as well uh, but mostly by car by bike and then of course if uh, it's not all possibility to put all, all on all your stuff on on the bike then then you uh, you, yeah. you go on the harbor bus uh, and goes if you have to go to the opera it's an easy way to go from a nice nice restaurant in Newhound and then directly over to the to the opera house on the other side by harbor bus 
Ah, uh, really nice, really nice. So, uh, for my, in my opinion, Copenhagen is a really a lovely and a flexible destination, a sustainable destination. Today, we visit also the Tivoli Garden. We yeah. learn a lot about sustainability there and about the restaurant Gemüse. And you talk about that we will be here with the Green Mile, of course, in May 2023. We are very proud and happy that we work together for this project starting very soon now in 2022. Yeah. And, uh, it is, uh, the boat is now checking a little bit because we cross another boat. And we will go now out to the one of the most popular monument here in Copenhagen. Yeah, Everybody yeah. knows this. Where we go now? We we'll go and visit the infamous or famous, whatever you need to call it, the, the Little Mermaid from the Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale. Uh, the Little Mermaid is probably the best way to describe it because he's not very big. But it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's really a... We see so many tourists come here and then say we, we want to go to the Mermaid. They look, the Americans are looking for some something in, in the size of, uh, of the of Statue the... of Liberty, but it, yeah. <laughs> it, it is absolutely not. But it's it's something that you have to go and see. And it's it's uh, it's it's a nice nice sculpture on a stone, sitting there and and taking a look. But don't look up. You have to look down to the water as you see the Little Mermaid. Yeah, and she's really a, 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 an icon for for the city, but as well. A, a, a kind of a misunderstood icon because he's not very big at it. But he has a big presence, I would say. Yeah, I think so too. Here we see the Merst building on this left side. You know, it's look, it looks, sorry to tell it looks a little bit like a 17 years old garage. Yep. <laughs> but it's typical 70 years design. But everyway, here is some other buildings. It looks really nice. And, and with some little little houses in front of that. Yeah, this is the, the old uh, official harbor of... of uh, of, of the, the Copenhagen Harbor. The, ah, the it's, it's, it's written, you can see that on the wall yeah. on the top, it's written something about the Copenhagen, That's Copenhagen Harbor Mask or something like that. And, and the, here, small, the small pavilions in front of that is actually the royal pavilion. So when the, the royal yard is here, she will be, yeah. uh, she will be docked right here in the military area where you said before, Peter, and then the, the small white boat on the other side of, of you here would take the, the queen or whoever from the royal family directly to the boat from, from the pavilions over there. Oh uh, yeah. This is the old custom houses which are built now in, in restaurants and the old custom. This is really nice. It's really nice, and it's also it looks like a really nice beach club. Yeah. It is. It is. It, it's a. It's an all week beach club all year. So great. And now we see in front of us we see some really big cruise lines. Yeah. So now we are coming out to the place where the little mermaid will be. Right. Yeah. Uh, we will just pass uh, past the the, the 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 small uh, personal yard of someone with a lot of money, and then we will go, go to the to the place where the Little Mermaid is and then we will turn the boat around and then we will go back to the inner city because we don't want to get too close to all the cruise ships that are a bit further out the harbor here. Yeah, so it's, uh, Michael, it's it's really deep impressed, I'm deep impressed what you're explaining and if you have a view now here around the city and all the, the audience who listens to the podcast now, maybe you hear all these waves clapping against our bow because we do produce this podcast live on a little they call it a go boat it's a little boat the best thing on the boat is it's sustainable because it's electric engine driven the second best thing is they give you a bottle of champagne when you join it if you if you <laughs> if you book it in advance at least <laughs> are you okay you need to book it in advance but of course you book it in advance of course, who, of course. who booked an, a, a, a who booked a yacht or a boat you know without any bottle of champagne makes no sense so, <laughs> anyway guys listen to this and you know we want to inspire you we want to inform you about copenhagen we want to to give you reasons why you can do your upcoming events in Copenhagen. And of course, we want to invite you for our Green Mile 2023 in May, 11th to the 13th of May, here in Copenhagen. You don't miss this. If you miss this, you are stupid. So don't miss it. Mark it in your calendar. Save the date. Contact us for any kind of questions. Now we are we are next to the mermaid, or we need to go no, longer? Just, just go a bit further, Peter. I just want to uh, wrap up a little thing with, with the, the things. And of course, you need to, to join the, the My Sport Green Mile next year. That's the, I, I'm, I'm really expecting you to, to join us. And um, until then, if you have any questions at all, please reach out to the Copenhagen Convention Bureau. We, uh, we are the guys to go to if you have, a, have something or have a destination um, or are looking for a destination um, that could be us. We would like to. to uh, 
will try to advise you to go to the right place, namely here, and come to Copenhagen for, for this. So you listen already. If you are interested to do your next upcoming event, meeting, congress, exhibition or incentive in Copenhagen, search micebroad.com because there you will find all the contact details of Michael Grunbeck and uh, Michael definitely will help you to organize, to plan your event here in Denmark, in Copenhagen, as best as possible. So now we are directly on the way to this little mermaid. We can see this because uh, many tourists standing around there. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Now the picture of the little mermaid. The little mermaid is, and now we are. We try to, you know, to 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 pass the mermaid. We try to go very near to them. Maybe we can catch them and bring them on the boat. Or is that possible? Yeah, the, the mermaid. Yeah, the I mermaid. Think, yeah. I think it's a bit heavy, but uh, we'll it, it will be heavy. Yeah, we try it. We we have a we have you a strong. We have a strong cameraman. We can do this. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, ah, behind us now is a, it's a, it's an army boat of the of the army of the Danish army. I really was deep impressed about you know that you can go skiing on 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 this place. It's really nice, nice idea. All year round, all year round. And I tell you the truth, today in the Tivoli, Tivoli is for me something I really love because Tivoli, Tivoli Garden is is it's not like we know. It's not like a Disneyland or something like that. Tivoli Garden is history. Tivoli Garden is it's deep garden. in yeah, it's a garden. It is deep in, in you know it's deep in the heart of many Copenhagen families. Since generations go to the Tivoli, they enjoy to eat something there. They imagine, enjoy to imagine sit there. Peter, if you have been living in Copenhagen in, in, in after after war time and these things in smaller apartments and working and these things and you haven't had access to to a garden like most of people have now in the, if they live in a house. Then it's their garden. So the Tivoli Garden is, is mostly part of, of Copenhageners, and the way it, it's, it it normally is is that this is where they meet up with the family once a year. This is where yeah. they go for the Christmas lunch. This is where they go to have after the christening of the, the babies. They go for coffee and cake. It's it's something for everybody. It, they ha it ha has rights, of course, and and everything else. But it, it's not. It's more than an amusement park. It's yeah. really a, it's Absolutely. really a, everybody's garden. And if you come to Copenhagen, it will, will be your garden as well. I remember two, uh, one experience for a couple of years. I visit first time Tivoli Garden in winter time, in Christmas time. Yeah. And I was invited by the Visit Denmark and the Copenhagen Convention Bureau. And we, we joined an evening event and there was a, a children core of, and they sing the Santa Lucia story. Yeah. I was so deep impressed. It was really amazing. And on the other thing, other story I really remember was a story that uh, we, Come to Copenhagen to join a fam trip, an event here. We can't go much, much closer here. And uh, yeah, we are next now to the Little Mermaid. And it's really nice. Yeah. In a couple of years they are going to build the, the new terminals for the cruise ships here, so, so the, the, they won't block the, 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 the city center, I would say, view of, of the sea. But out there they did all the infrastructure and everything, so it fits with the, with the amount of people coming. And, and we're really happy that they come here for, for the joining, for going on all the way around the Baltic Sea, so yeah. or going around Scandinavia. So it's, it's really the, the port of call it should be here. And another thing is also we need to talk about that, you know, cruise lines, everybody talk about, oh, they're not sustainable. But really, this, this companies work very hard to be more sustainable. Yeah. They, they, they think about, you know, liquid, they, the engines drive it by liquid fuel. They are testing a lot of batteries and, and also electric. Oil as well. Yes. And they are now in, in, in terms of, of, of uh, when they are ported up, they are, we're going to, to, to go by land uh, electricity for all of this, the cruise right. ships, and that's well, that's probably the that was um, one of the hardest thing, of course, is to change right. the the uh, the way the ships are built and 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 the way this, the ships could do it. But this is something that we have a really good collaboration with the different uh, yeah. different shipping agencies around that that, 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 that now we, we we are heading for a hundred percent landline, and then uh, again then we can push wind yeah. power, we can push water power right, and directly right. into the cruise ship and make everybody more sustainable in that sense. You, you talk about something many people don't know, that many havers in Europe, or let's say all European havers, yeah. they told the cruise lines they need to use electric power, not anymore walking the engines for the power. Exactly. They need to get the electric power from the, from the, from the, from the beach. So this, of course, is much more important because this don't make the, any more the, the climate so dirty. But of course, it's a long way. But it's, it's a similar, the same like the, like the airplane companies. They also yeah. work about sustainable solutions. 
but, and but, but this way is, is, is such big uh, engines and machinery that that are maybe more years old. That yeah. Everybody wants to do this because it's it's more more, more efficient. It's more uh, green. It's 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 more of of, of, of not not not. Uh, wearing off uh, the, the destinations that you visit as a cruise ship and everybody wants this it's just a uh, possibility and it just needs to be sustainable in a way that we cannot just invest all the money now and then we're not sure that it will be a, a green investment because maybe the, the, some of the, the, the agencies could can, can, cannot afford this or will not afford it now so it's better than we walk hand in hand take the small steps and yeah. as long as we are walking in the right direction everybody then then we will get there um, of course, it, it needs to go faster, but every, everything needs to go faster. But we cannot go faster if we don't have anybody, everybody with us. So it, what we're working on really hard from the Copenhagen Convention Bureau side is that hand in hand, everybody take that turn. And, yeah. and then we help them as much as we can. And we help each other. And, yeah. and one of the things that we, we do to do this and help people to do events as well is, is by joining and hosting the the mice for green mile next year. Yeah, and I think really sustainability is the most important topic. No destination, no country can't work anymore in the mice industry without sustainability, sustainable solutions, in my opinion. So, and this is so, so, so important. And the green mile is only one step, of course, of many other steps, but the green mile is one step. And the idea behind the green mile is to show international destinations like Copenhagen, to yeah. show destinations, to show, to show solutions of suppliers buyers can use today tomorrow yeah exactly they walk they fix and they help them don't be theoretical you know don't be so much theoretical to speak about what you can do what you need to do what you might need to do so be concrete and uh, show supply buyers from germany austria switzerland where outside of these countries they can find really great sustainable solutions and offers conceptions and ideas yeah that's about the way behind so we are shipping here around is a, a nice a little oh so you we pass our my boat so yeah, that's, sorry that's yeah. your ride home Peter. That's yeah right. but it's not it's not it's not the one from abramovich this is no, no. abramovich is, is it's a three time size he has a rocket protection system and he has a helicopter so <laughs> Uh, but I don't know if he have it anymore because he lost also money in form of the situation in the moment. But it's so nice to ship here on the on the on a Canal River. So Michael, we join a couple of uh, locations here in Copenhagen today yeah. and yesterday. Yeah. We join this because this will be also play a main role in the mice peak, the mice board Green Mile next year in Copenhagen. The mice bought green, green Mile in Copenhagen because I spoke about the mice peak. I will tell you guys, next year we will fusion the mice peak together with the Green Mile. So there will be no mice peak, but there will be a Green Mile here in Copenhagen. So we really focused on sustainability solution because we in our mice sport community, we want to take care about more sustainable event planning and we want to support you event professionals from Germany, Austria, Switzerland to make better sustainable events outside of Germany. This is the reason why we make a break with the mice peak, bring them together to the Maisport Green Mile and hopefully see you also in Copenhagen. My friend Michael, yeah. thank you very much. It was deep impressed to, to hear you. It was a big, big pleasure to talk with you. A lot of information for our audience. So thank you very much. And now Let's enjoy the champagne. Thank you.